back to same right fashion academy youtube channel for another interesting tutorial on this channel so today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make this beautiful rouge we are seeing on the uh, thumbnail so to make this rouge and attach to your waistline okay this is what uh, i do i mark my border line i'm using this as my fabric for example so my, my fabric comes at 60 inches. That is, if you are making use of a dull face satin fabric, it comes at 60 inches for your ruche. So right now, this border line I have here is my waist line. And what I have here is the full length of this ruche. Okay. So now I'm going to make use of what I have on the waist. So on the waist line, I have... Um, um, my full waist as 36 so I divide it by 4 so once I divide by 4 I'm going to mark but for me to mark uh, my full waist divide by 4 for my ruche it all depends on the kind of ruche you are actually making okay so this is what I do for my my full waist divide by 4 this is a miniature uh, drawing so let me first of all find the midline of this paper okay so if i'm working with uh, maybe two inches fabric uh, two um one yard fabric or two yards or one and a half depending on how you want your ruche to be so you are going to mark the length of that and find the midpoint so here is my midpoint so from this midpoint i'm dividing my waist by four my waist divide divide by four is nine. Then nine, I will divide it by four again. I have four point five. So I'm using this uh, number as my four point five. So here I have my four point five, and here I have my four point five for my ruche. Okay. So now I will also mark out this line, this center mid line. I will take it all the way to the hem. So your ruche should be as long as you wish because it flows when it flows it gives you that beautiful effect so on this part of the ruche from the midline i'm using my waist circumference divided by two so my waist circumference divided by two is 18 okay so i'm using the whole of this from here to here as 18 and using the whole of this as 18. The, what i'm trying to explain to you is that the hem of your rush should be wider than the, the rush at the waist okay to give you that beautiful flow effect so from the center line of this rush i will take my waist divide by two on this side my waist divide by two on this side so the waist i'm working with is 36 divided by two is 18 18 so in other words on the floor line i have my full waist and on the hem, I have my, my waist divided by four. You can see I shared them.